Did you know there are over 40 ways to play Mahjong? Some people think American style is the only way to play, but oh no. If you're interested in learning to play Mahjong, the easiest one to learn is Hong Kong Mahjong. There's a link below the video to a lesson playlist and a player reference that you can use to follow along with my videos. In this video, I'm going to do an exercise that I call random pulls so that I can practice decision making when I get my drawn hand. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do four rounds, one for each wind of the round, east, south, west, north. So we're going to start with east round. And then we're going to roll the dice just to randomize which seat we're in. For this random pull, we're going to say we're in east seat. If you count around the table, beginning with one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this would be East Seat, or the dealer. So I'm going to put a one up on the dice. So we're in East Round, East Seat. So we'll get 14 tiles. Four on each side, six in the middle. That's what we need. We have a number four flower. We're not gonna get score for that. You gotta have your own flower, which in this case would be one since we're in seat one. Let's get a replacement tile. Ooh, white dragon. Any three of a kind of dragons. This is a red dragon, white dragon. There's a green dragon. Any three of a kind of a dragon is worth a fawn. We have a south wind, lots of cracks, a single dot, and some bams. So let's look at the chow potential here. We have a seven, nine, so that's a potential three in a sequence called a chow. Here's a four, five, and a one, two. We also have a chow right here, three, four, five. I think what I would probably do here is try for all chow. We have one, two, three, four blocks of tiles. These are ready to be chowed. And then all we really need is a number tile. So I would discard these first and play all chow. That is a one fawn hand. We're gonna go on to the next one. South round. This time, let's say we're in seat west. Two flowers. One is ours, seat three. Seat three. So we're going to get score for that. And it is the south round. Let me see here. I thought we'd get a point for the wind of the round, the flower for the wind of the round. Number two is south, but not for Hong Kong style. We get score for the, the seat flower. So we're going to get replacements for those. So we have here five bams, four cracks, two dots, and two single honors. I think I would try for all chow, all three of a kind here. Here's a four, six potential chow. We need a pair, or here's a potential chow, or here's a potential chow. So there's chow potential all there. Then here's a potential chow. These are isolated, or we could use the six and seven together and that would be isolated. And then we have a six, nine. So there's definitely work to be done here, but I would try for all chow. So all chow plus a seat flower, that would be two fawn. I would get rid of these first and play all numbers. Three, seat three.
West Round. For these tiles, I think what I would try, well, first of all, we need to get a replacement. This is a four flower. We're in seat three, so we're not gonna get score for that. There's a dot. We have five dots, three bams, three cracks, and chow potential. There's a chow right there or here. Here's one, two, three, four potential chows and a pair. So I think I would let this be my pair and play all chow. Chow, 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 chow. Those are all potential chows. We need an eight crack here, seven bam here, a three dot here, and a four dot here. So I think I would try to chow as quickly as I could, play all chow. East seat. North round. Oh, we get one extra. The dealer gets one extra tile, so we have 14. We have our own flower, number one, seat one. We get score for that. One dot. Okay, so four, four, six in the middle. We have the tiles we need. All these single honors, not too helpful, but you know what I see here? A potential rare hand, 13 orphans. So I think what I would do is play 13 orphans. It's one and nine of each suit, so we're missing the one nine bam. And then one of each of the winds and dragons, and then any tile paired. We've got our pair. All we need here is a one bam, nine bam, red dragon, a north and a south. I think what I would probably do is hold the cracks because that's what we have the most of. Sacrifice the pair of three bam, get rid of these, Try for 13 orphans or half flesh. If you already know how to play Mahjong, would you have gone for 13 orphans with that last random pull? Write yes or no in the comment section for a random pull four. And if you don't know how to play yet, don't forget there's a link to the lesson playlist below the video and a link to a player reference so you can learn the scoring. Four sets and a pair, three in a sequence, three of a kind or four of a kind. Any combination, you've got all that freedom in there. And then of course, some groups have a minimum point to win. So be sure you know who you're playing with. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Be sure to click the bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Hong Kong Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.